Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about block world problem. So, what is block world problem? A uh, block world is a classical uh, planning problem that uses robotics and some logical connections into it. So, you'll have a lot of blocks, some n number of blocks that will be placed on the table, and uh, the goal is to rearrange this block in specific given uh, target. So, each time we have an arm head there. So, the arm head is going to take one block and place it on the top of it. Okay, so you will have a lot of scattered blocks and the goal is to rearrange the blocks in certain way that is given as the goal function. Okay, and uh, the major functions, the major uh, moves that are available over here is either we can uh, put the block on the table or put the block on uh, the top of another block. Okay, and uh, the basic representation that we use over here, the state representation is uh, we can call a on function. So block one is placed on block 2 or if it is placed on the table block 3 is on the table okay and there is function called clear clear actually means these are all the representations so each time either the block one block will be placed on the top of other or one block will be there on the top or uh, the block will be clear like clear in the sense like i'll give you an example so here this is an example of a block well problem like you have a block c b and A. So here I can say that on B comma C. So B is on C and table like on the table we have C. So on table C and on for this topmost block there is nothing on the top of it right like A block is clear I can place anything on the top of A. So I can use the function called clear block one. So clear block one is a state where we can say that the top of the block is empty. I can place anything on the top. So if I want to place something on C, I cannot do it directly. I have to remove A, I can have to remove B. Then only I can place something on the top of C, right? So that is your clear state. And holding us like each time uh, arm head is there, that is going to pick up something and place it. Okay, so holding us like the arm head is holding a block. So these are all the state representation. Either the block will be placed one on the top of other or on the table or the top of the block will be clear. Like when the top of the block is clear, I can place anything on the top of it. And holding is the arm head is holding a block that can be placed anywhere. So these are all your state representation. What is state representation? Uh, a snapshot of each and every moment. Okay, it says that these are all the possible events that can occur over here. And everything is and connected. For example, here in this case, uh, like on table C, C is on the table. That is correct. And on B comma C, B is on the top of C. That is also correct. And your block A is clear, clear A. Okay, so all this are true. So I can connect everything into true condition. And uh, what is the next thing that we want to know? That is your goal state. So what is your goal state? So final destination where you want to reach. Okay, so here in this example, this is all the goal state that is needed. So C is on the table, B is on top of C, A is on top of A. So everything is and connected. So this is the goal state that we want to reach. Okay, and to implement this block world problem, we are using this strips language. Uh, strip language is Stanford Research Institution Problem Solver. Uh, it was the first it was the first programming language used in first robot build using an ai technology so here it has a specification for initial state goal state and a set of actions so all set of actions are represented using your uh, uh, preconditioning and after effects using your strip language strip language is very simple language that uses first order logic representations so it has a representation for initial state goal state and all the possible actions also so for all possible actions, we have a precondition. So if I want to execute this action, what all the prerequisites that I want to have it here? So if I want to uh, place something on top of A, okay? So what all the prerequisites I have? The top of A should be clear and something should be holding it, right? These are all preconditioning. And effect is after effect. When I perform this action, what will happen in future? I'll give you an example for this block well problem completely. So these are all the actions that are allowed to perform in a block world problem. Uh, there are four basic operations. Uh, either I can put a block on the table or pick up a block on the table or I can arrange a block on the top of other. That is called stacking. What is stacking? Placing something on the top of it. Okay. So I can either stack 
x on top of y and another function is unstacking so these four are the possible actions that are allowed in a block wall problem okay so for each and every actions there is a preconditioning and there is an after effect condition too when i want to pick up something what all the prerequisite i want to pick up a block x from a table got it so what all the conditions that i have before it the arm head should be empty how i am going to pick up i have a mechanical arm head right that is going to pick up this x and that should that should be empty so this arm head should be empty and pick up function is to pick something from the table so this x should be placed on the table right x is on the table and i cannot directly take y here you you, rem you know why like x is on the top of y i cannot remove this y so only possibility of picking a block is when there is nothing on the top of the block okay so when i want to pick up x my arm head should be free x should be on the table and the top of x should be clear there is nothing should be placed on the top of x okay so these are all the preconditioning what will be the after effects the arm head will be holding this x okay when the x is there on the top of your table the arm head is going to pick it up and the after effects will be x will be holding got it so this is your pick up function next one is put down function so what is put down function i want to put down on the table okay i want to place this x on the table when i want to place this x in the table what what does that means what are the preconditioning the arm head will be holding this right so the preconditioning is x is holded by the arm head and after effects is and the x will be placed on the table right so when it is placed on the table the arm head will be empty here so arm head will be empty x will be placed on the table and that is the last block that is placed right that thing will be there on the top of it x is clear okay so this is how we define each and every function okay every action each and every action has a preconditioning and after effects of it okay similarly i'll tell you for stacking function to what is stacking we want to place x on the top of y so when i want to place x on the top of y my arm head should be holding this block x and the top of y should be clear right i want to place this x on the top of y so my arm head should be having this x and the top of y should be clear okay these are all the preconditioning and after stacking what happened x is placed on the y right so x is on y and x is the last block that is placed and the top of x will be clear arm head will be empty got it this is your stacking function and stacking is removing the top block okay when i want to remove x from the top of y uh, x should be placed on the top of y okay the preconditioning is it should have this condition so x block is placed on top of y and the top of x should be clear then only i can remove it and my arm head should be empty these are all your preconditioning and what will be after fx i picked up this x okay so arm head will be holding this x and the top of y should be clear y will be clear since i have removed the block from uh, the top of x the top of y will be clear okay for each and every action we have to define all the preconditioning and all the effects okay so this is your definition part of it and how you are going to plan for a solution i will take an example for planning or finding a solution or finding a path of a solution or whatever it is i am going to derive a solution out of this given actions okay i have taken a simple example uh, the starting state is there are two blocks a and b placed on the top of table and the goal state is i have to stack a on top of b okay i have to rearrange such that b is on the table and a is placed on the top of b and the arm head is empty initially got it these are all your initial state conditions and next the solution for it is so starting state snapshot is given a is on table b is on table this is your initial state and the goal state needed is a should be placed on top of b so this is the final thing that is needed right one solution is i can follow the back back uh, bottom up process bottom up process is i start with on a comma b okay so when can i use this function on a comma b only after stacking okay so when i call the stack function of a comma b a will be placed placed on the top of b right so first is i have to have this on a comma b in order to gain this i have to call the function of stack a comma b okay so stack a comma b is the function where i am going to take a put it on the top of b 
okay and for stacking function what all the preconditioning that we have it is an action right when i want to perform an action i have certain preconditioning for stacking function what all the preconditioning that we have discussed the arm head should be holding a and the top of b should be clear okay so here my arm head is not holding anything remember this is the initial state my arm head is completely empty so it is not holding a but b is clear b is initial state see b is placed on the top of table it is clear there is nothing on the there is nothing on the uh, not nothing above this b okay so what i have to do i have to have this holding of a what is holding of a i have to pick up a block first okay so the function uh, the action that i want to perform here is i have to pick up a and what all the preconditioning that i have when i want to pick up a a should be on the table and the arm head should be empty nothing should be there on the top of a right so these are all the preconditioning now in the initial state the arm head is empty fine a is on the table that is also fine there is nothing on the top of a that is also fine so all this preconditioning are satisfied so when all this preconditioning are satisfied i am able to pick up a now when i pick a my arm head will be holding a so this also will be corrected and that goes back we can call the function of stack okay so when i call the function of stack a comma b a will be placed on top of b okay so this is how we formulate a solution for block wall problem okay i hope you understand what is block wall problem like right? this is a very classical uh, planning problem that we used to discuss in classroom for um for explaining how a procedure works okay so it uses a uh, first order logic along with the robotic representations okay so we have a arm head head uh, arm head right like a mechanical arm is there that is going to pick up something put it down something and all right thank you